What's popping? What's popping? What's popping? First of all, shout out to my people that like my videos, the people that comment on my videos, and the people that watch my videos. I really appreciate y'all. If it's negative or positive, I still appreciate the comment. But let's get right into it, man. Shout out to the Dominican people, man. See, being from the South, this is something that I never experienced. But I told myself this year I'm doing everything to get out of my fears and get out of my comfort zone. So I went and let me tell you, these people are cool as hell. They are cool as hell, bro. And I ain't gonna cap. In my mind, I'm like, man, if I go here and like they, you know, uh, looking at me crazy or it's some racist. And you probably, you know, you got some racist uh, people in each community prejudice people in each community you know that's never go in but bro it was cool as hell i actually know um some jamaican some caribbean people in new york and they are cool and this one person they gonna know who <laughs> exactly who i'm talking about cool as hell man and the thing is not everybody from the south but i ain't gonna count me you I judge people or I judge a community before I actually... Because we get caught up in this internet world, man. We get caught up in this internet world and just listen to all the negativity. Not knowing that the internet, the news, they need negativity to get views. Without negativity, they would not get views. They would not. Without shitting on celebrities, they would not get views. You know, without separating uh, races, making this race hate that race, they would not get views. You know, that's just how it is. So by me actually living in real life, man, it feels good. It feels good to know that, okay, these people are cool as hell. Like I say, all of them ain't going to be like that. But to actually meet these people and, you know, not judge and be in their culture, bruh, I love this shit, man. And this this only the beginning. And don't mention the women, bro. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. But one thing, I need to get my Spanish, bro. I need to get my Spanish together. I need to get my Spanish together. I've been bullshitting. I need to get my... And I learned quick, man. You know, I learned quick. But I know with languages, it ain't no such thing as quick. You know, so I'm going to get on that. I'm going to get on that real soon. But it feels good to be off the truck, bro. As a truck driver, all my truck drivers know, if you're on that road for a long time, a lot of times when you get off the truck, you want to be an introvert for real, for real. You want to be a, you want to be to yourself. You don't want to be around people. So for me, I don't want to I don't want to live my life completely like that. I still want to put my, my myself in places where I'm uncomfortable and I have to be social. I still want to do that, you know. But let's let's get to this topic, man. Shout out to the Caribbean people. Shout out to the, uh, my Dominican people. Shout out to y'all. But let's get into it, man. Starting your life over in your thirties, bro. And I know I talk about this a lot. It's important, man. It's I like to talk about what I'm living and just just give another side to it, man. In this life, once you start hitting your thirties, you don't want to keep taking hard L's. And when I say hard L's, I'm, I mean like you lose everything. Now, sometimes it's gonna happen. But as you get older, you want to you want to decrease the the big L's you take in life. You don't want to always be starting over in life. And I had this I had this epiphany. I'm like, "Damn, bro, like you always, you know, so you want to get to a point where you getting better. You're not always starting over. Each year you advancing in your life. Each year you learning from your mistakes. Because that's important, bro. You, you don't want to be 38, 37, and you keep taking the same L's that you took when you was 26, 27. Because you ain't learned your lesson. I promise you, when we learn from our mistakes, we get better for real. 
that's the best that's the best thing that can happen to somebody in life to learn from your mistakes because you can make a change like that overnight bro i made a change overnight my mindset changed overnight when i'm working i'm not just working and be off working and be off nah my mind can my mind can bring me three four months straight working because i know i know where i'm trying to get to but i haven't always had that mindset i wish i did or i wouldn't have to start over you know so the older we getting bro you don't want to be taking these massive hard l's you might be in a hard l right now like your life just messed up learn like sit back and learn from everything you fucked up at Every area you messed up in the past months, sit back, even to your mindset. We can blame you could blame Mary, you could you could blame your baby mama, you could blame your parents, you could you could blame anybody, but you really gotta look in the mirror at yourself. Cause I'm telling you, we don't wanna get to our forties and we still dealing with the same stuff. We still have the same mindset. And this is a very important one. You really wanna start it's okay to listen to everybody it's okay to you know listen to advice from people but at some point in life you have to start listening to yourself you have to start following or creating your own advice and it's gonna come when you grind it bro you go you gonna start thinking of all kind of uh <laughs> phrases that you come up with because you actually live in you actually live in it so when it comes out as words, it's going to be natural. It's going to be your words, not somebody else's words, because all our lives are different. Just in your thirties, you don't want to keep going backwards. Now, it's going to happen. You know, it's going to happen sometimes. That's cool. But each year you want to keep getting better, bro. Even when life fucked up, look, it ain't going to stop my money. It ain't going to stop me from grinding. It ain't going to stop me from building. It's not going to stop me from investing. It ain't gonna stop me from getting my mind sharper. I can still do the small things, even when life is messed up. That's very important, man, because you don't wanna be going through self-inflicted wounds, bro, as you get older and older. Like we have to we have to keep learning from our mistakes. We gotta keep learning from our past, not to repeat this again, not to deal with that person again, not to spend that much money again, not you know, not to make this mistake again. It's very let me tell you, bro, when I was young, <laughs> I didn't value nothing. I didn't value anything, bro. Didn't value anything and a lot of times in life, that comes back to bite you in the ass. Mostly everything we do in our 20s, and y'all can talk about this in the comment section. A lot of things that we've done in our 20s, it comes back in your 30s to bite you in the ass. <laughs> and you just sit back, you be like, what the fuck was I thinking? What the hell was I thinking? But like I say, bro, it's, it's not too late. And this is why I like making content like this, man, because I know I looked at my um like my content graphics and stuff, and it said most of my people are from 25 to 30, I think it said 25 to 34. You know, and that's perfect. Cause that age, bro, that age is so that's when shit starts to get real. When them 30s hit, that's when shit starts to get real. Either you gonna let your mind take over you and make you weak. Are you gonna come out a warrior? Are you gonna decide to become a warrior, bro? And that's some real shit. Because life gets real. The friends you had, they start falling off. They stop you start talking to each other. People you love, they they start dying. People start losing their mind. Life gets real when them thirties hit. I don't care what nobody say. And you gotta be mentally strong. You have to know where you're going. It ain't no more uh I'm, I'm i'm lost in life no buddy you gotta know where you headed to because once you know where you headed now you got the road map 
And sometimes you gonna have to take detours. You gonna have to take detours sometimes. Sometimes you gonna have to get off the interstate and take some highways because the interstate gonna be closed for a little while. That's that's okay. But I'm gonna take this detour. I ain't quitting. I ain't quitting. Do not give up on yourself in life, bro. I know it sounds like some preaching shit, but don't give up on yourself, man. Because life is the longest thing you go do. And you don't want to live a life of regrets. You might as well fight back. You might whatever you going through in this motherfucker, you might as well fight back. I'm fighting back, bro. I love my life. I love waking up every morning. I love where my life headed. I love when I start from the bottom and build myself back up. I love that shit, bro. And nobody can stop that shit. Because guess what? I'm willing to work. I'm willing to work every motherfucking day of the year. I'm willing to work every day. While you on vacation, I'm willing to work. While you sick, I'm willing to work. What the fuck is this shit real? I'm out.